this morning. It's Wendy Darbasi of CBTT and Nikosi McLeish of RBC, joined by Carfin Director Wayne Roberts. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. So before we start with the winners, Mr. Roberts, we're going to talk a little bit about the Carfin series and how was the series for you this year? I know it's a, it's been going on for about 22 years or so. So how was your the um, the entire series this year? Uh, we had a, a very um, interesting series. We started off with the Torch Run, Torch Run which inaugurates the whole Kyfin Games. Mm -hmm. This year, instead of going down to Coover from, from here, from Port of Spain, we went to the west, uh, down West Mooring at GHL. So we went through Port of Spain, through St. James, and down to uh, GHL in St. James. Mm -hmm. And um, we had all the teams running legs. And uh, we, from that, we, do, we went straight into competition uh, two weeks after, where we had the one lap Savannah. We had a, quite a uh, increased in participation from uh, around 400, we went over 500, close to 600 people midweek going around the Savannah. And that be, in our competition, we have running categories, walking categories, mm -hmm. you know, male and female. And uh, that we saw increased there. Then we went on to the Green Mile uh, on the sand track in the, the Queen's Park Savannah. Mm -hmm. that, that again, we had a, another um, increase in participation because traditionally what happens after that big influx of people for the one lap, it kind of go down, mm -hmm. you know, decreases. Right. But this year we kind of maintain uh, a, a level of participation that we could say, yes, we are making some impact into the, the lives, of the, you know, the fitness of the, the, the employees within the financial services sector. Right. And it even maintains uh, up Chancellor, where we had you know, a very exciting race, we had a lot of people, people a lot, um, we have teams like Intercommercial coming from a far central mm -hmm. and some in, um, south to participate. So we had a very exciting uh, Chancellor challenge. Then we went on to the aerobic burnout Mm -hmm. Well, that's a different set of people yeah. who take... Well, uh, not everyone can um, run um, <laughs> or do cross-country like Wendy and Nikosi here. Yeah. So we, you, have to, you have to have some other things in place mm -hmm. for the, right. the less fortunate, like myself, who could only do aerobics or walking. Mm -hmm. So you find that, you know, I, but this week and, you know, this is health week, you know, a lot of health things going on in and around the country in schools and so on. You find that... Trinidadians, and as you say, it's increasing in number because maybe we're trying to be more healthy. So running and walking and all these things is such a good, ser you know, a series that you put on. Maybe not, you know, it's only for your financial sector, of course, but you, maybe you, that's why you find a lot of staff, you know, more staff coming out and participating, you know. So, um, and Kosi, let's talk to you a little bit. This is your fifth win. That's great. Um, you're representing RBC, RBC. Yeah. and, you know, it's, it's competitive. Your industry in itself is competitive with all the other banks and financial institutions. Um, what, what, what were any challenges for you this year? Um, well, after coming off four Carfin wins, cross-country wins, I mean, there are only two other guys, along with myself, makes it three of us in total, who would have had four wins. And after 2010, which was my fourth win, I, had, I, got, I got two terrible injuries. Okay. And that kept me, kept me away for like two years. So my greatest challenge was actually getting fit again and being able to not just get fit, but competitively back out there again to challenge mm -hmm. these guys. Okay. And I mean, I did put in a lot of work and I mean, thank God that I was able to, to pull it off so, on Sunday. So um, you came, did you come from a, a running background from in school at, or maybe you were in a private club or do you know this is just something you picked up at, work at the bank? Um, no, um, I'm, I am a part of a running club, okay. but not from school. I, I started running more or less as an adult at the age of 21 okay. and um, I continued I continued from there yeah. okay so uh, you find it be, you find it's it's a uh, like almost pressure there's a pressure or build up coming to, you know towards the event because I mean as you you know in, with all the banks and you know, it, it's it's a little bit of pressure going out there because you know you have your bank supporting you and all your sure. staff and stuff and um, how is it leading up to the event um, a lot of pressure because I mean we know about um, he, he, he don't let up you know mm -hmm. it's it's media social media um, newspaper and um, having already won four I mean the pressure is on me to see if I can actually deliver again mm -hmm. and I mean 
I mean, I did. I mean, I, I put my head down, you know, I stayed focused in training and I was able to, to, to bring it home. Okay, and Wendy, how are you this morning? You look like you're, you're relieved that it's finally <laughs> over. How was your training and stuff coming up to the series? Um, I, this year I would have focused the training a little bit more than previous years. I mean, I, I, I run all the time, I enjoy running. Um, but because I would have won last year, just like Nikosi, mm -hmm. was a, a, a bit more um, focused this year in terms of the training, although it was al also a lot more enjoyable because, mm -hmm. I mean, part of the, the um, focus of the, of the whole series is as fun, fitness, and friendship. Right. We go there, we meet people from the other um, uh, sectors of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the other participants in the sector, mm -hmm from other financial institutions who we, we make friends with all these years and you just go and enjoy, enjoy the races. Well coming up to the, um, you have your one lap savannah in your urban challenge and then you have the green mile and then you have mm -hmm. the chancellors and all these mm -hmm. things and, the, and all these activities take, take part, part before. Previously, yeah. Right, so these of course it would help you and you know get you prepared yes. for the finals of course. So how, how do you balance that and work then because it's after work I'm sure it's just all training and all getting ready. Well most, most runners most long distance runners will tell you they start their day very early. Mm -hmm. So most times we do our training first thing in the morning before we even get to work. Okay. Um, so get it out of the way. And because we enjoy running, it is part of our lives so that we don't see it as an extra burden. As a matter of fact, it makes the work that you have to do otherwise so much easier. Okay, but are you part of a running club also? Not, not formally. I run. I, I run with a, a couple of few, a few friends, mm -hmm. and um, we enjoy, we enjoy running. Um, being being a woman in this series, you think that it's a little bit more pressure on you. I mean, you're at CBTT, so you think it's a little bit pressure there because now you, you and you won it last year. Uh, yes. So now the the pressure is on. to now you have to now come and come do and it again. again. Yes, yes, this yes, year. Yes. So, so, so it is there, and as I said, that's why the, the, the training this year was a bit more focused because, I mean, I had to, to try and win again. Mm -hmm. um, so there is some pressure, but there's also some pleasure, lots of pleasure but in, in doing coming, it. Leading up, coming up to when the event is getting there, you know, you, the members of staff, how is, how is the, the bank and how is at, at CBTT, how is there, you know, there's a lot of buzz and stuff around people getting, coming, coming together to go coming to training together. and encouraging each other? Uh, yes, and this year we had what we call a governor's challenge where there was a competition for, by department um, that the, each department that could have fielded a, l a largest number of, w of winners in the series would have won what we call the Governor's Challenge. So from a departmental perspective, it brought us closer together because we were trying to get to encourage persons to come and take part in the series. Okay. So in that way, yes, there was a buzz in and around there at our institution at the bank. What about RBC? I know RBC has so many branches. Yeah. Um, how many participants? was from your for the urban challenge um we had close to 50 members 15 50 50, 50 uh -huh. yeah and for the for the the cross country we had just a little like about a little less than the 50 like about 35. but do you all yeah. get together as a group and train or um rarely or because of the locations yeah okay yeah. but um in the bank itself any pressure coming up to the leading up towards the series and yes the event? because i skipped the urban challenge this year because as i said coming back from injury um, I didn't felt at the time that I was actually ready to compete okay. in the Urban Challenge. Mm -hmm. Luckily, um, my comrade, uh, Mr. Simon Kalishten, mm -hmm. he actually won all the events at the, at the Urban Challenge. Okay. So going into the event, the cross country on Sunday, um, there was, a, there was a, a bit of you know, rivalry between myself and him. Mm -hmm. you know, as to if it is Simon is going to continue with his, with his great runner form mm -hmm. and the fact that you know, I'm now coming back from injury, would I be able to hold him off? Okay. So. All righty. So, Mr. Roberts, quickly before we go, what can we look forward to Carafin next year? You're going to be adding new events, maybe some sort of... Because cross-country, obviously, there's no challenge in it for, for Nicosia anymore. So maybe we're going to go into sprints. So what, what can we look forward to? Maybe so you're going to be adding different events next year? I mean, every year we, 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 tweak, we tweak stuff. We add different categories. Every year we, I mean... We, 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 like the Chancellor Challenge, that was something that came up about two or three years ago, mm -hmm. you know, and this year we taught run instead of going so we, we change it. So we, we are always open to 
to look at ways of innovating and change and we listen to the participants in terms of you know where they want to go in terms of uh, better enjoying the event right. so yes we are looking forward to to bring change we are looking forward to challenge them more mm -hmm. and actually to increase the level of fitness as well as fun mm -hmm. and making friends Right, great. Well, thanks so much for coming. I know you're looking forward to your prize giving that's coming up. Yes. You know, that's okay. always the rewarding part at the end of it all. So what do they win? Uh, there is cash, $1,800 oh, okay. for the first place. There's trophy, replicas, and people who do, like, the winning series, they get hampers and more trophies. Okay. The governor challenge, or there's a special prize okay. whereby... Um, there will be a special plaque with the signature of the governor on it. Okay. So it's a lot of bragging rights. It's rewarding. And, and it's and rewarding. And bragging rights for sure. For sure you know. All right. Well, that's it for this this morning of the Carafin series. And <laughs>